Guys, my epic wooden fish pond is lit up right now. My solar light's charged. Let's go check this thing out. It is incredible. Here we go. Ooh, you see that shimmer and shine back there? That's, that looks awesome. Oh man, look at that little glow that we have right now. It is perfect. Oh man. Imagine the freaking epic pond fish that we are going to have inside here. And I love this effect. Look, you can actually see the three pond lights reflecting off and then that little shimmer. This is starting to be the oasis I dreamed of, guys. So guys, I'm sure you can hear this water crashing right over here. I have something super epic to show you. It kind of blows though because I had to reshoot, I had to remake this video because for some reason my audio was jacked up in my last video. So let me know if my audio is okay because in the clips that I filmed this whole build process out of essentially got compromised. So I'm gonna have to use them in a different creative fashion in this video to show you what sits up oh, right there. Check this out. To give you an idea, here is our very bottom frame. We're gonna have this frames essentially stacked on top of each other and then fastened together. It probably doesn't make any sense, but you'll see here in a minute. The next step is I want to get the underlayment in. I actually get this next tier up, put my braces on the sides, and then put my underlayment in. I'm using a pretty crazy form of underlayment that uh, you're probably going to like to see. All right, guys. So I miscalculated. I should have had another tier made out of two by sixes. Uh, it wasn't an option to go get more wood at this time of day. So I just uh, sacrificed and used two by four. We're only losing a couple inches, so we're just fine. Now onto the underlayment. This homemade DIY underlayment, which is old carpet that I just pulled out of this bedroom in the new house, which works perfectly as underlayment. We're gonna line the whole pond with it, the whole, in, the whole inside edges, the bottom, everything that's going to keep anything from potentially puncturing through our liner even though i went all out and got a 45 mil thick firestone pond liner all right guys almost done with the diy underlayment here we just have to cut a strip right here not that it really matters it's just going to bother me knowing i didn't do it if i don't as you can see i wrapped over the corners now this excess here is going to get cut off right at the edge but i wrapped over the corner with my experience building several wooden ponds in my life the stretch that gets put on the pond liner as it comes over the edge, I want to make sure it's not sitting on the rough edged wood. So that is why I wrapped it over. So it is almost time for this mega, mega thick liner to get put in here in just a few minutes. We got the front two corner braces on. It's gonna add structure to the pond, rigid up those corners, as well as clamp down the corner parts of the liner. 
So I'm gonna start working on this front face right now, getting the top beam on, the bottom beam on, and then once we work all the way around, then we can cap the pond off, so cap the tops of every side. Alright guys, it's crazy. I can't believe we're at this stage. Build. I couldn't wait for this time. Still got to clean up the backyard to finalize everything. But here is the wooden pond ready for water. I am so stoked. I gotta go around and pull some of those tags off of the staples, you know, from the store and stuff like that. So just got some liner to go around and trim around the outer edges. And I'm gonna start getting this bad boy filled up because I have been waiting for this moment. I might even freaking swim in this thing. What? Oh my goodness. That's very crazy. It's like surreal right now, guys. I've been thinking about this wooden pond since before I moved into this house. And the fact that it's finally built is just amazing. And the fact that I waited long enough to afford the higher quality stuff, such as the Firestone Pond Liner, which was probably the best thing I could have done in terms of this pond. I mean, 45 mils thick. I mean, yeah, it's ridiculous. Well, yeah. But it's getting filled up with water. It's gonna be quite a while. So sit back, relax, and we'll see what's next. All right guys, so the pond is now filled up. As you can see here, crystal clear water. I'm loving it. It's now time for me to get the monster filtration system hooked up. Guys, this is all built out of premium lumber, pressure treated in weather shield, but I'm still going to either paint or stain. I think I'm gonna go with stain. Um, stain it and seal it just um, for double protection. Um, what do you guys think are some good colors for this thing? What do you think would look good? I mean, we have these like little red accent stripes along the uh, concrete here. So maybe a more of like a, a cherry stain or something like that, a redwood. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you have any cool ideas as far as maybe planting, uh, maybe different ideas for the overhead sump, um, send them to me on Instagram, Unconventional Aquatics on Instagram. DM them to me. Send me some ideas, help me out because you know, you guys come up with some of the best ideas for stuff like this. We gotta get this full nighttime footage here. I am freaking loving it. You can see the whole pond. I would love to get some accent lights in here, maybe along the back of the pond, some blues or something like that I think would look cool. And then also some lights right here in front of the pond to kind of brighten it up at night. I don't know, there's a lot of things that are gonna happen. We're just getting built here in the new home here in Florida. So only amazing things to come. So I hope you really hope you enjoy this thing. I put a lot of hard work into it and um, we're gonna be putting a lot of epic fishing here, a lot of wild caught stuff, a lot of exotics and uh, I, I'm just super stoked I'm super stoked that we finally have the first pond up and running ready to go and there's only gonna be so many more ponds to come so guys again drop what you uh, think about this thing down below let me know what you think if you have any cool ideas again I want to build an overhead planted sump so if you have any cool ideas hit me up on conventional aquatics on Instagram DM me any ideas that you may have I greatly appreciate it but this is it guys this is it I love it so guys, I hope you like this thing. I'm freaking loving it. I'm loving it. And like I said, this is only the beginning of this pond. There's many more evolutions that this thing is going to go through only to make it even better and even sicker and to really just nail some stuff down for when we build the ultra huge rescue pond back here. That's just going to be absolutely massive, absolutely crazy. I'm not skimping on anything. It's going to be awesome. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think would look super cool in this pond? Um, as I already have some ideas, the next time you see this pond, we are going to be putting some fish in it. So stay tuned, subscribe, smash the like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.